what is going on collective let's go ahead and start us off with some deep breaths okay this reading is going to be for our masculines here okay i'm gonna go ahead and just follow the rhythm here some affirmations for our masculines here okay i've pretty much moved around three times trying to find a location to do this reading <laughs> i have been following spirit okay i know what i am here to do this has been about your focus masculine and if you are a female okay and you are leaning more towards leaning in towards more into your masculine this reading is for you as well as well as as well as for our um our male okay thank you if you are and if you identify yourself as a female, but you are leaning in towards your masculine more, this could also be a reading for you. I seen one, one, one when I said that, okay. Let's pull up another affirmation here for our masculines. Okay, number 444, I wanna tell you guys, number 44, 22, 33, 818, 11, 11 number 11 and number 818 oh i have also 727 that is a number that came up okay i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness Ooh, heavy emphasis on this okay i want to read you guys okay a bible scripture It's been tough. Masculine, okay. It's been tough and tempting with the ones who spit fire and spite on your name. They linger and they won't stop bullying, okay. And in every way possible, they can, okay. This is about acceptance of self, okay. Number 33 is significant. I'm following the rhythm here, you guys. Okay, the scripture that I wanted to read to you guys. <clears throat> a king is not saved by a large army. Okay. A warrior will not be delivered by great strength. Okay, this is... Psalm 33, verse 16. Okay. And I wanted to read another one for you guys. I feel also that our masculines right now are in deep realizations and in deep reflection, introspection, okay? The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He saves those crushed in spirit. Okay. That was Psalm 33, verse 18. Y'all have been going through it. Okay. Our masculine, our female masculines. Okay. You guys have been... I'm hearing calling quits, okay, calling quits. And what I mean by that, and this is what's coming up for you guys, okay, for our female masculines here, okay. There are moments when you are getting bullied, okay. There are moments when you are feeling some type of way and you don't understand where it is coming from, okay. And this is taking me back, I'm following the rhythm here, you guys, and this is taking me back to how we are perceived in society, if you will, okay? This has been about self-esteem, okay, for our masculines. Self-esteem is, is so big right now, I feel like, okay? And this is what is crushing our female masculines, if you will. Okay. 
but also for our masculines, for our males. I feel like your self-esteem has been crushed for a very long time now. I'm also getting that this is rooted in loss. It led you to feeling more at a loss, okay? When it comes to your self-esteem, when it comes to our self-esteem, masculines, I'm getting that. This comes down to how you are in your relationships, okay? Your behaviors, your attitude, okay? How you are approaching your partner in this matter, okay? 555 five, five, when I said that. And how you are behaving in your relationships, okay? This is revealing a whole lot of your self-esteem, masculine. And these are emotions, right? Uneasy feelings that you are experiencing and that you are and may not feel very, very comfortable with. Okay, you're going to have to learn how to accept this about yourself whatever it may be that you have been feeling insecure about about yourself masculine okay i'm speaking to somebody here and i want to repeat one more time you guys i have numbers 444 okay angel angel number 444 i also have 44 22 33 818 that one i had seen yesterday okay i have 11 11 i have the number 11 just number 11 and then 818 is what i said okay i also had written down here 727 okay and hear me when i say 727 two five two and five excuse me number six number eight number 11 number 12 and number 33 Okay, I am also um, suggested to, to let you know, to reminded, uh, to be reminded to go back to Psalm 33 through 37 and to uh, read from 33 to 37. Okay, Psalm 33, chapters 33 to 37 to get into that and to immerse yourself in the words. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. I'm following the rhythm here, masculines, okay? Okay, this, this has been about replenishing, okay? You have been dealt with uncertainty, adversity, and the challenges along the way have been um, also great loss for you but gained a lot of lessons along the way masculines okay I have adversity bottom of the deck okay there's something about your timing I'm speaking to our divine masculines when I say this that there's something about your timing that you are very much Um, you're following suit, okay? And this goes along with what I had mentioned about freedom. Did I say something about freedom? I have the card. Okay, and times and moments, not 919, I just seen that. And times and in moments when we are acting um, rebellious, okay, and times when we are acting on being rebelli rebellious, okay. <laughs> it is because it's rooted in loss. It pushes you to do things that you don't want to do masculine, but you go on and do that anyway. I'm following the rhythm here, okay. I feel like when you are tempted, remember in the beginning of the reading, I had mentioned it's been tough and tempting. 
with the ones who spit fire and spite on your name. It has been tempting to do certain things that you don't want to do, masculine, you know, but there are moments and times when you feel the need to take actions on things and be rebellious. I feel like also that every time we are tempted to do rebellious things, okay, you're adding up more of your problems, okay. That's probably something we don't want to hear, masculines, but... I mean, if you're trying to find the right partner... Okay, I'm following the rhythm here. If you want to find the right partner here, masculine, you're going to have to face some things about yourself. Your attitude. I'm hearing reproach, approach, okay. To our female masculines, um, I feel the need to say it is okay to say no. Okay, 11.33 on the timestamp. For our masculine females, okay, it is okay to say no. 11.44, caught that, okay. I'm getting that, you know, there are energies outside of you, okay maybe even surrounding you and these are masculines okay i'm speaking to our female masculines here is when you are around masculines when you are around men 12 12 you know it can get a bit uncomfortable for you female masculines just because you know where you are with your mindset Yet sometimes you feel like you gotta put yourself at a level where you don't feel easy. You don't feel comfortable, okay? But you gotta like be at a level where number one, you're not hurting people. Number two, you are avoiding drama. Okay, I'm following the rhythm here. And number three, you have nothing against men our masculines okay and this is i feel like this is where the feminine energy steps in okay emerging with the masculine energy okay but this is a masculine reading but as you are also stepping into feminine energy If you are heavy on your feminine and you are a female masculine and you are heavy and strong with your feminine at the same time, you're powerful. Okay, divine is what I'm getting here. I have nine of pentacles. Okay, for our female masculines, this has a lot to do with equal give and take. Okay, you know where you are with your mind. You know where you are with your mind set. You have nothing to compete about, nor should you also compare yourself, okay, to your partner's lifestyle, to your partner's, okay, um, way of living and yet sometimes we feel like our female masculines feel like they're getting bombarded with so many things bombarded with how they carry themselves okay their compassion if you will Right, our masculines very much have a, a very potent ego and pride, our masculines, okay? This comes back rooted in self-esteem.
And then it is also correlated with how we are behaving in our relationships. Okay, perhaps one is um, very insecure about one's self-esteem because of the fact that there has been a lot of challenges and there has been a lot of trauma and there has been a lot of childhood trauma and there has been a lot of abandonment and neglect. Childhood neglect. And this comes down to, you know, your emotions being met, your feelings being heard and your words also being heard and your actions being seen masculine. And so at a time when our masculine is not being heard and understood, there's a problem. And that builds up in one's system, declining your self-esteem. You're in this constant um, in this position where you feel like you have to be in a constant battle with yourself okay trauma can get pretty deep right so when we are out there and we're looking for somebody to be more compatible with masculine it's tough for one to meet somebody in the middle when you are feeling discouraged about yourself and your self-esteem. So it's kind of like you shut down. You shut yourself out from the world's masculine. Okay, this has been about loneliness. This has been about your worthiness. And how society perceives our masculine. You guys have to do so much. Okay. The judgments. That is causing a lot of this doubt and a lot of this fear. I'm following the rhythm here, masculines. Okay. This has been about your worthiness. This has been about loneliness. Okay. And how that look like for you. How that looks like for you. Okay. You stepping out. Okay, I'm speaking to somebody here. You stepping out and you wanting to get to know people. You wanting to date again. And you wanting to find a healthy one, right? But when there's so much trauma on top of everything okay it's it's tough to meet somebody in the middle it's tough to meet somebody in the middle okay this has been about relationships and also the relationships also our how we are with our personal development okay when it comes to our relationships this is romantic relationships and also non-romantic relationships <laughs> i'm getting that okay i have the emperor here and i was going to say that if we are one in life ignoring our emotions you know and you're just constantly in your mind constantly in your mind i'm getting there's no juice that you are experiencing it's like life kind of just goes by and time kind of just goes by but you're not really actually feeling nature you're not actually really feeling truth. You're not actually experiencing and feeling what is true when we are constantly in our mind and we lack the ability to understand our own emotions, masculine. Boy, trouble is at hand. Okay. 
and I do believe that our masculines understand that while they have to do what they gotta do to be masculine and to be a man, there are also certain things to ignore. But perhaps the things that is being ignored is what needs our attention. Like sitting with our emotions. Because when we are sitting with our emotions, okay, this is taking action on self-reflecting. And when we are self-reflecting, okay, we are learning. We're, we're learning about our, ourself. We are self-studying. And when you know more about yourself, masculine, you taking that into your relationships, okay, you grow and the people around you grow, okay? Masculines, you have been our um, role model. You have been our role, mo role model. And that also has been very challenging and complicated for our masculines because while others may see them as this role model, okay, if you have children, Okay, but I'm following the rhythm here. If you have children, masculines, this is a very important role that you play for your children to see. Okay, you being that role model in their lives, okay? And for our fathers, for our dads, how much of where you are with your self-esteem and then being a dad at the same time. Okay, this is what I'm getting on following the rhythm here, okay? Is that you are realizing a lot about your self-esteem at this time. In this season, you have been in deep realizations and maybe even in deep <laughs> introspection. And you're realizing a whole lot about your insecurity, your self-esteem, and how you're showing up in the world, your confidence. It's not what you have, it's how you use it. I'm following the rhythm here, okay. Without other people, we are not complete. Communication with others is the key to life. Heavy emphasis on paying more attention to our emotions for our masculines so that you are able to to understand if when you understand yourself okay i'm gonna say this this is coming from me that when you understand yourself in a deeper way in a spiritual way in a mental and emotional level i see a butterfly you are also able to understand other people empathy talk to friends and colleagues discuss things things don't be afraid to try new and unfamiliar things after all no one could have known the blue and red make violet sorry no one could have known that blue and red make violet and that red and yellow would make orange and if no one had tried mixing the colors there's no fun there's no fun okay i'm also getting there hasn't been any fun because this has also been about money and where we have been with our money, okay? We have been saving up. We have been questioning things about how this whole thing works, okay? And that's a message, a very specific one for some of you, okay? This has been about money. Okay, what's, what's going on here with our money? I feel that um, this correlates with what you are most comfortable with and what you are most comfortable in doing, okay? A job that you are most comfortable with. Something that you are also, I'm hearing something that is fitting for you, okay? Again, that's taking me back to self-esteem, okay? This has been about, and heavy emphasis on self-esteem right now, okay? For our masculines, when I say that, that's coming up a lot. 
and then it's, it's taking me back to let you guys know that when you are having a moment of feeling insecure, okay, oof. remember what I said about when you stay in the mind for way too long and you don't acknowledge what your heart is saying, okay, that could be a problem come back to acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change, okay? I feel like this has a lot more to do with your self-esteem and it has a lot more to do with accepting your flaws, accepting your little fuck-ups, accepting the things that um, you know that you impulsively do but that's you don't mean to do but that is just part of like your wiring okay i'm getting that heavily right now i'm following the rhythm here and accepting that about yourself like people may see this as like a flaw of yours people may see this as something that does not look right right but you having to accept it yourself self-acceptance when you accept yourself somebody else is going to accept you for yourself and i'm getting it's a perfect match but it's the kind of perfect match that you see it to be when we are one to accept a lot of our flaws okay others see that in you okay like you you admit to yourself you are not in denial about your insecurities you're not in denial about your self-esteem and where you are with your self-esteem but more so in acceptance and when somebody else sees you accepting yourself as you are flaws and all is an attraction and somebody else sees that it's an attraction you make them also accept themselves the way that they are okay i'm speaking to our catalysts here okay this is coming up just now thank you spirit coming back to where we I was talking about where you are with your money okay yeah exactly I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment when it comes to money you having to find balance between you your emotions money and family heavy and then you instantly have this urge to go and find and seek love outside of you sometimes may not even be getting involved in healthy situations okay it's like you're setting yourself up for something here that's not going to benefit you okay coming back to what i was saying about this is rooted in trauma and then everything else that's linked to where you are with your money, rooted in trauma, rooted in childhood. Everything correlates with that one thing that happened to you in your childhood. Why money isn't working and why money has not been successful. It takes you back instantly to your childhood because it's rooted back there and the scar is rooted back there why you never had the guidance why you didn't have your parents present enough in your life to guide you why you had to go through many challenges and even challenges in your relationships that you didn't have to face that you didn't have to deal with but you know came a lot with fear because trauma comes with a lot of fear. As an adult, you're going through situations, circumstances, relationships, and situations with people. Going back again to what I was saying about self-esteem. Self-esteem. So then, when comes around facing where you are with your financial stability, that also comes down to your self-esteem. And then, you know, it takes you directly back to oh, how am I going to pay my bills? How, you know, how am I even going to pay for this bill on my dates? You know, it's simple things like that that kills the self-esteem. 
and then instantly takes you back, rooted back to your childhood because everything is rooted back in your childhood. So when you find yourself out on a date and you're over here thinking and overthinking, how am I going to pay for this or do I have enough? And it's not just you on a date, it's how am I going to feed my children tonight? It's those little things. Okay, this just came out and it flew. Okay, I'm going to take it. I have the moon, okay. Um, things are slowly being revealed to you, masculine, and you're thinking to yourself, man, this whole time I thought I was this tough cookie. I just said cookie because today is Nationals Cookie Day. i seen that today at Albertsons. I don't know. <laughs> Some things are being revealed to you, masculine, and again, you are not comfortable with it. You are just getting to know a lot about this feeling that you are unfamiliar with. And you're also going to yourself and questioning to yourself, have I been this way this whole time in my relationships? That's what's coming up. Heavy emphasis on relationships. Have I been this way in my relationships? Where has my mind been this whole time? Have I not been awake this whole time, masculine? These are questions that you are reflecting. These are questions that are coming up and revealing to yourself. Where have I been with myself? And how have I been behaving in my relationships? You guys have been through it a lot. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And here you are, I feel like for some of you guys, and I feel the need to say this, that for some of you guys, it has been this ongoing situation where you're having to like pace around because the challenges at hand is too much to fathom so this is where you get into rebellion masculine okay and i feel the need to say that i'm speaking to our female masculines when i say that okay that's heavy that's coming up but i'm also getting that for our male masculines okay you guys get into so much trouble and you ask for it. You ask for it. Because your emotions, when your emotions are at a high, masculine, hear me when I say this, that when your emotions are at a high, depending on what fucking season it is, because it works differently for everybody, right? Okay. Whatever is revealing to you right now, masculine, it's causing a lot of problems. It's causing glitches, doubts, and fear in oneself. I feel like this is a test. I feel like this is a test. Okay, I'm also getting, okay, you're a father. Okay, this is for our males who you are a father. There's a lot of things revealing to you right now and hear me when I say that while you know you're having to take up this role of being a father you having to observe yourself and being self-aware of how you are behaving and approaching your children mm, I'm also getting that while you are with your children you know they take this away they take away the fear, the doubt. They take away. They take away the problems. Instant. Okay. And then this is where you find yourself to be treating others the way that you want to be treated. Masculine. I feel like this is where you kind of soften up, soften up a little bit. Okay. And to trust. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Treat others as you want them to treat you. The way you treat people will dictate how you are treated. Although some will always be mean, while others will be kind. 
okay? If you treat people with patience, kindness, and understanding, you will live a happier life. And that is also going to be reciprocated back to you. If you are loyal and caring, your friends will be loyal and caring to you. You've had... Um, you've had to face challenges when it comes to your trust and respect. You have had to make some heavy, strong decisions when it comes to interacting with certain people and even being around certain people. Okay, we are ascending here, collective. And so as we are, we are, you know, also trying to find our own community, right community for us, you know, where we feel safe. And when it comes down to safety, it comes down to, you know, your emotions and your feelings and your vulnerability being heard and seen. Okay, thank you. And so for our fathers, our masculines, you know, that if you are around your children, okay, they're giving you that safety. And I do believe that it is your children gain it is your kids that's helping you gain a lot of this um, it's kind of like a car just flew damn it it's kind of like self-esteem disappears when you are with your children I'm speaking to somebody here very specific when I say that is that it, it is kind of like your self-esteem suddenly disappears when you are around your children. You know, when we are around children, we are more in um, higher spirit, okay? We are um, in a higher spirit, in a higher ground, okay? Children are ones to provide, you know, a sense of higher love, if you will. And they also help us be more at ease as well. It's like um, they help us access, um, they help us open ourselves up. Okay, children open, help us open our imagination, if you will. Okay, adults. It is important that we listen to children because children know best. Okay. I feel like I have some more notes here for you guys. Okay. The initials. Okay. First of all, yesterday I was going for a walk and I had seen a time clock. Okay. And that is a significant message for some of you guys okay when i say time clock they're an actual clock i had seen it on my walk okay so a time clock is significant time and timing is also significant there is also very significant about letters and numbers okay i had also just seen a butterfly uh, not a butterfly a butterfly I had, actually i had seen a butterfly but i also had seen a dragonfly okay so that is significant the name Abby is also significant. And if you guys are also connecting with these messages, please comment below. I would really appreciate that. There is a bird in the trash can. Okay. Some of us are having trouble uplifting yourself. This is heavy. Okay, this is an energy that's coming up. Some of you guys are having trouble uplifting yourself, okay? This is a time of rest. Some of you guys are trying to get yourself out of a mindset or even a situation here, okay? Depending on where you are with that, okay, that's a message that's coming up. You are trying to get yourself out of something, okay? You can't get yourself out of it. It's like you can't lift yourself up. This is what I'm getting here, okay? I'm following a rhythm here. Okay. 
you're not feeling well. Okay, that's what I'm getting. You might even feel depressed, a little bit depressed. Okay, I'm getting that some of you guys are having episodes. Okay, you have had an episode. Okay, um, okay, excuse me, let me reword that you did have depression okay you now stepping out of it or you finding yourself to be getting out of it okay that's the message ah also i don't want to forget because i feel like this is important that when you make space for humor okay uh, make space for laughing okay this is medicine you guys this is medicine oh crap this is medicine make make room for humor make room to laugh remember to laugh this is a reminder okay Ooh. it's so funny because i was thinking about owls yesterday was it the other day i was thinking about owls okay and this just came out choose to know the truth because you can okay open your inner vision you can see through deception let the past go and make room for a better life i feel like a lot of us are being held back from the past and there's some things from the past that's holding us back so it's hard for us to uplift ourselves. okay rise up magic and wisdom are your birthright okay heavy emphasis on patience rise up rise up rise up rise up okay i don't know why but I, I kind of expected this reading to be a little different than what it is now but i'm glad that i got through this reading you guys i love you guys so much i'm sending you so much love and support at this time masculines take care of yourselves please i am praying for you okay I'm praying for you. We are praying for you, masculines. Okay, there's something about patience here. Just gonna leave anything out. Okay. Patience. Okay, stillness. There's something about stillness and patience here. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being patient with me. I go by Kimber. And thank you for tuning in with another reading here at Safe Space. I'm sending you guys so much love and support. Love and peace. Take care. Bye.